Hi, y'all. Okay, so, y'all, it is so, so hot outside where I am, like completely humid. I don't know how people live in Florida or anywhere where it's hot all the time. That's why I don't live in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just mentioned Florida because I was traumatized. Um, one year I went on vacation with my mom and it was like four o'clock in the morning and I wanted to go and take a walk and go to yoga. And she didn't want to. And I pressured her to get up. And it was by the time she got up and everything and we left the uh, condo, it was 530 in the morning and she couldn't even walk out of the where the condominium is because it was really humid 5 30 in the morning like it felt like you know a hot studio a yoga hot studio you studio hot yoga whatever you want to call it that's what it felt like and I was like come on mom let's do it and she's like it was really hot or humid anyways somebody told me that I should wear lipstick more often um so uh whatever I am going to be wearing my Gucci number 25. It's a sheer, there it is. Can you see it? Can you see it? Is it right? I don't even know. Anyways, so let's see. This is like, this is like really light, y'all. It's almost orangey. And um, it's very moisturizing. And I got, I actually have three of these colors, the one that is matte, which is really, you can see that one. The one that is moisturizing, uh, which is between this and the matte. And then this is the sheer. And I usually don't even put it all over my lip. This one, I usually just kind of dab it on the middle of my lips, just to give me a little bit of color. Um, I don't wear red lip, this is, it's supposed to be like an orangey red. But I don't like to wear uh, red lipstick on a daily. I, you know, maybe on a date or maybe when I go out with my friends. Uh, but throughout the night, it just disappears anyways because I'm not really applying red lipstick all night. And then I end up using this one. So, anyways, um, so I took a little trip to the outlets. Oh, it was hot. It was scorching hot. Uh, we shouldn't have been at the outlet. We should have been by the pool. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I just, I had nothing, not that I had nothing to do, but I need a break from all the stuff that I am doing. Uh, by the way, my cell phone is very low. I am recording down low, meaning it is on the table, you know, because men nowadays, they want to know what we women bring to the table. I'm going to show him what we bring to the table. So anyways, outlet shopping today. And this is what I bring to the table. This is actually a bag that I purchased online and um, I canceled. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a whole mess. It was a whole mess. But I decided to... Um, call back in and have the outlet save this bag for me. They didn't have it, but for some reason I was able to, or they shipped it out to the outlet and I was able to pick it up today. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about this bag because this bag was featured on a YouTuber's video. I forgot her name, but I'll link it here or I link her video down below. She was showing all the bags that she had purchased and there were two bags, this one and the Lizzie that I felt madly in love with. And the way she described the bags as to how you can use it, I'm like, girl, I'm gonna do just what you said. So, like I said, this bag was so confusing. I purchased the bag, I had to cancel it, and then I had it, I purchased it again, and then I had it just go into the outlet. So anyways, I don't know what this bag is called. Uh, let's just see. Mm, I don't know. Earth West Crossbody? <sighs> Y'all know I need my glasses. 
so annoying. Okay, let's see. It is the East-West Crossbody. East-West Crossbody. Okay. Uh, mm, yes. I mean, I don't know. Some of you, like, maybe are not going to like it. And some of you are going to be like, oh, that's a nice bag. And she had hers in a very nice what I would have chosen, stone color, right? But she said something. She said, you know, imagine if you had the black one, something like that, don't quote me. Um, she probably didn't even say this, this is just in my head. But she said something like, you know, a black one and then you can add the gold chain from Coach. So I was like, all right, bet. So I purchased this bag, it was a sale actually i think i got this bag for i, I want to say maybe 65 dollars i want to say 65 dollars and i think she is so classy and i think that youtuber is right she does come with a leather strap and i haven't opened her up yet i just saw her from the box her interior is red i don't really like the white threading it make I feel like it makes it look cheap, but maybe that look looks cheap because it's against the black. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But anyways, this is what she looks like inside. She has her, you know, dust bag. <laughs> and she's a rectangle shade. <sighs> All right, that's what she looks like inside. She has a pocket in the back, the size of the bag, All right? See that? Woo woo. Oh, and then she has another pocket in the front, the size of the bag. Yeah. She kind of looks like a book, you know, like that, the shape of a book. Uh, yeah. That's what she reminds me of, a book. All right, so she has, and this, okay. okay, this is the front of the strap, but then when you look at the back of the strap, it looks, I don't know, it looks worn out. It looks pale, look at that, and look at that. I'll put it against the black. This is the front, and that's the back. It looks so worn out, I don't know. Anyways, um... So what I want to say about these Dooney, uh, they're really long and then they come with that extra, they come with that extra attachment that I call a dog collar. No, this is not it. It's over here. This is the part where you can remove or attach to make the bag longer. I call it the dog, uh, the dog collar. Look at the, look at this leash. It looks really crappy. The intent to buy this bag was because of what the YouTuber said, right? So I don't really care about that leash because, I mean, about the strap because I intend to use this bag just as she described. And so this is the back. It has, I don't think you can put a phone there, but maybe gum or I don't know I feel like you know she was right this is like a church bag I don't go to church um this is like a like a work bag I don't know like a after work bag maybe I don't want to stay happy hour but you know you can also use it as a clutch maybe like a when you go to a conference type of bag I I don't know this is it's a very classy bag but I think you can Hmm. I wear a lot of slacks, y'all. So this bag is definitely a bag that I would wear to a conference, um, anywhere that I have to wear slacks. Yeah, it's really pretty, actually. Um, but I wanted to talk about what she was saying. And uh, I need some coffee because I'm actually super tired. Uh, Walking in the scorching hot weather really dries me out. 
So anyways, during my visit to the outlet, I went to coach. Mm-hmm, y'all. And oh, it's not even here, actually. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I also have to say I went to Furla. Mm -hmm. But what I bought at Coach, what I bought at Coach was this chain. And that YouTuber was talking about putting on a chain, a Coach chain, to this bag. Now, I bought the chunky one, so... I do have a thinner, longer one, but I thought, I, th I think this is nice. I, th I don't know if this is correct. To be honest with you, I don't like that. I think I like the chain that comes out, but they're, those are the vintage chains. So I bought this one and it's okay. Hmm. I don't know if I, I like it that much. I don't know. What do you think? I don't like the way this looks, so I might have to do a different type of chain. This chain from the Coach Outlet uh, was only $35, y'all. So if you need a chunky chain from anywhere, uh, get the one from Coach. They're really nice. This one is not as heavy as their boutique chains, um, but it is, it is for a good price. Uh, does it look good? I don't know. See, I like the chain when it falls down like that. Hmm. But when you have it this way, I don't like it that it goes inward. Hmm. Maybe I can, I don't know. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, oh yes. That works. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all. When a woman's brain thinks she is on her way. All right, yes, I actually like that. What do you think, guys? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. What do you think? Hmm. I think she's okay. I think she's okay. Nevertheless, I do like this bag because, oof, my hair. I like the way it looks. I like, I like that envelope book look. <laughs> it is very uh, classy, very simple. And I think this bag, she, she's just really comfortable with the shoulder, y'all. I think this bag is really nice for even work or an after work type of event or any type of event. Um, would I wear it to a wedding? Um, not unless I'm wearing slacks, you know? I don't know, I don't know. It's not, I, I don't feel like it's a really, I don't feel like it's a dress bag, like if you're wearing a dress, but definitely a slack bag. Um, Wide-legged jeans with, I don't know, a blouse. Maybe it is a dress bag, I don't know. It just depends. I guess it depends on the woman because, you know, I like dresses, I wear dresses, but I don't know if this bag, I think this bag for me is more of a suit type of bag. I think she is lovely, I think she is very classy, and it's what's great about her is that you can attach any uh, strap to her. So I'm not 100% sold on this strap on this bag, but I think this strap will definitely work on my vintage Gucci. Oh my God, yes, I'm going to stick that one on there because that one needs, that one is also like a clutch. Um, but, you know, that you know that one is of a vinyl type of, like a, I forgot what they call it. It starts with a P type of fabric or not even a fabric material. But this one is of a smooth leather and again, it has that logo that I don't really like. You know, it pops out and everything, but you know, she is a very classy looking bag. So, and uh, I remember I had one commentator say that Dooney and Burke, uh, not classy at all. I don't know if she was referring to that one bag that I said was classy. Um, I think it's classy. I've seen women that are well off with bags like that, okay? 
So I don't know, maybe your style is not for that bag. You don't, maybe you won't look good carrying that bag. I don't know. But anyways, um, there are some uh, Dooney and Burke bags that don't look outdated. And this is one of those bags that is not outdated, y'all. It's very classy looking. So anyways, that was my number one purchase from Dooney and Burke. And these are items that I purchased online and I canceled and I had them, uh, I picked them up at the outlet. Anyways, this bag is that little lunch bag and oof, the smell is horrendous. I bought this one for my daughter because she will be working retail pretty soon and you know in retail you have to have the clear bags because they they need to see um through your bag just in case you got the sticky fingers so this is such a cute little bag for her and um Ugh, I just opened it, but it didn't open it. And I also bought her a whole bunch of other things to include, like a makeup bag, a pink makeup bag. I think I, I bought her a dress your purse uh, little wallet. You, you know, one of those that look like the Louis Vuitton ones. Uh, that's on its way. But anyways, look how cute she is, y'all. Isn't she cute? Like, you know, my daughter is 15. She's going to be 16 and she wants a job and I think this will encourage her but anyway she needs to carry something I don't even know if they do that I know when I used to work retail we had to carry they gave us bags that were clear um even when I worked in Bloomingdale's they had those um brown bag bags <sighs> those were really cool I still have one mm. you can actually still purchase them anyways I also bought her the umbrella and funny thing is when I was at the coach outlet coach outlet has these umbrellas they're like that's like that small literally like this is like I don't know 16 inches theirs was like probably six inches and I really should have bought one but I didn't like the colors um, this one is actually way bigger than I thought. I bought myself a a uh, Dooney and Burke umbrella, but I think this is way bigger. This one does have the yellow handle and it matches perfectly with her yellow um, handle over here. So I think that is so cute. And then she can just go to work. And I'm also going to get her um, a long chomp little bag because she always... She grabs mine at times, and um, there is a sale going on, and I think they're like for $75, and that will be on the 15th. You have to buy them on the 15th, but if you have their credit card, you can actually buy them before, and I don't have their credit card, so I hope that I can still get one. Um, that way, you know, she'll have that little bag in here, and when she needs to use the bathroom or whatever, she can just grab that one and then use the bathroom and whatever, and. You know, she'll have this one for with her umbrella when it rains and her lunch and whatever else other crap she needs in here. Yeah, so I think that was cute. So that was my um, second purchase from Dooney and Burke. Really cute. I know a lot of adult women uh, also carry these for work or whatnot, but this, I, I'm too old for this. Like, this is just not my thing. This is cute for my daughter. Uh, she's going to be 16, but not for me. Uh, what else already? I went into Furla and oh my god, Furla has gotten so nice over the years. I used to buy Furla in my 20s, right? What I liked about Furla in my 20s, and I think in my 20s, they're what they are today. Like, um, I used to buy bags, they just like. Like their logo is not like screaming at you, you know? And then there was a time, I think between my 30s and 40s that their logos kind of got a little loud. Uh, but I always, and I don't know much about the furla. All I know is I liked furlas in my 20s. But 
Furla um, reminds me of a of European bags. Like when you go to Europe, you see women carrying bags with not a lot of logos. You know what I mean? And that was years ago. I don't know if things have changed now. I haven't been to Europe in many years, but when in my 20s when i did visit europe women italian women spanish women um any european women had bags especially dome bags i read this is probably why i like dome bags because uh european women carry a lot of uh, dome bags but anyways <clears throat> they had bags with very little logo like i never saw like a gucci louis vuitton anything like that in europe um as much as I see in America and this is when I was in my 20s and I don't know about now because I haven't been in Europe since I had kids so but anyhow going back to Furla uh, y'all know I needed a new cosmetic bag and I found one it is a little larger than I wanted but what really surprised me was when I opened it she had a baby in here oh my god no yes look how cute it is it's so cute because this is a great bag I wouldn't say it's a great bag for your regular bags I would say it's a great cosmetic bag for a tote and y'all for work yeah and the color is like a stone it's it's like 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 a stone like a big stone from the outside um it's kind of like beigey gray yeah and look at the the logo it's so tiny isn't it and it's it's in gold and it's super tiny it doesn't scream hey i'm fur give me some attention it's very classy quiet that's what it looks like inside and then it has its little label in there <clears throat> and then the little one here oh she's so cute because literally this can fit in your smaller bags like I like this. I don't think any of my brushes are gonna fit in here, my regular brushes, but I do tend to carry little ones, so I'm gonna see if it does. And this reminds me of a, um, what kind of leather is that? I don't even remember. Hmm, I forgot what leather I wanna say it is. Uh, maybe starts with an S, but whatever. It's kind of scratchy, not scratchy, but durable and, um, it is lined in cloth, and this was a great deal because it was um, $67, and then it was 10% off, and you get two bags in one. Of course, there was tax, so, but whatever. Nevertheless, it's a natural-looking color, and I really like that. Yes, it's super nice. But I also bought something that I didn't need from Furla also. And only because I don't have one of these in white. <laughs> I don't have a card holder in white. And I honestly thought it was the classiest looking card holder. Like again, the Furla logo is so tiny and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this card holder because literally it is in the color white and I'm thinking the corners are gonna get dirty. I don't know, but then again, it's in that kind of leather. I would hope, it's a pebble leather. This one, they're kind of both, yeah, they're both pebbled leathers, but yeah, they're both pebble leathers, but I think feel like they're cleanable. So she has one, two, three, three slots in the front and three slots in the back and then the usual um, in the middle. And y'all, they had these in red, in pink, in purple. They had them in all different types of colors in this beautiful teal color. Um, but I decided on this one because it looks really classy. And I don't know, I don't know. I kind of feel like I should give it to my daughter, but I think it's going to get super de duper -de dirty. I think it's cute so that she can throw in here. But y'all, she's only 15 and she only has a school ID. Um, although she's homeschooled. <laughs> but you know, you can get your teen an ID. She also has a government, um, ID for just hey 
and a passport. Um, but I feel like I should give it to her. I mean, she could put her cash in here. And she's very feminine, and maybe this will suit her. But then again, I did buy, anyways, whatever. So yeah, that is from Furla, and I think it's so cute. I honestly think these two were such a great deal, y'all. Um, like I said, they had so many beautiful bags, and I wanted to record a video but the store was insanely busy so i decided against it so anyhow let's go back to coach because i went back to the coach outlet yes it's getting hot in here but then again it's probably me because i'm drinking this is this is Turkish coffee. Yeah, for me, it's like an espresso because it gives me like uh, ADHD, HDH, whatever you want to call that. Because literally when I drink coffee, I'm ready to paint your whole house, including your exterior. So anyways, I went to coach <laughs> and you know, I bought this chain, which I think I'm going to probably use. I don't know. I like it, but I don't know. I like it, but I don't know if it's for this bag. But anyways, actually, this is the, the chain to this bag. And I think this chain is too long for that bag because I want to use this as a shoulder bag, not a... No. What I want to say is I want to use this as a little shoulder bag and not like a long shoulder bag. Y'all know what I mean, right? So anyways, I went to Coach and I bought two more items for each of my daughters and here it is i mean this is all over youtube and i'm wondering good lord why but anyways um these little novelty bags right i'm just like okay what's going on here like i need to have it only because they were on sale y'all these bags went from 115 i think there were 115 110 dollars and I got them for $57. Yes. So um, this is the Nolita 19 Sunday, uh, Sunday graphic line. Yes. And um, she has the silver hardware. And uh, she has a little tag. And she's a very soft leather. I feel like it's a very nice stretchy leather yeah and she has these little cute um uh, sunday here for 10 cents the vintage looking soda for 15 cents the ice cream cone in vanilla for 20 cents and the vintage what is that <laughs> coach has its own soda for five cents and then it says boardwalk specials. And I think it's so cute, but I would, you know, I seen women or young women buying this. Um, I'm too old for this. I'm 50 years old. I, I'm not carrying this bag with me, but look how cute. It has one and two credit card slots. Uh the it's a cloth um uh, like beigey, brown beigey interior. And um, I think this is so cute. Now, I've seen, I really wanted an Olita 19. In fact, I think I have an Olita 15 somewhere out there. In fact, I think I'm gonna look for her right now after I showed you this so I can compare the size. But this is such a cute bag for young, females literally if you are my age and you're carrying this go girl but not me <laughs> and then this one is out of stock y'all and when i called them they said they only had one in the back and i was like i will pay you right now to keep this one for me um is it brand new hmm it doesn't have the plastic thing on here and it did have a little black scuffing here uh, so I don't know, but she's ours. She's my daughter's. So 
And let's see, she is the same. She does have her little pink tag. Now, her, I feel like she was a return because where are her tags? But anyways, her interior is pink and she might have been a return. She's a little dirty here. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I wasn't going to like bug anybody for it because it was $57 and it, it's out of stock in on the website. And they didn't have any of these on the floor anymore. They had two of these and I took the one and then they had this one. And when I purchased this one, there was another uh, younger girl saying that she called and they said they had one and then all of a sudden... Um, it was gone and I don't know if it was this bag that she was talking about because I literally paid for this bag um, what I want to say is you know <laughs> if I don't know I don't know for higher end luxury items I would assume it's the same thing but y'all if you're looking for a bag like I'm still looking for that Lizzie uh, Dooney and Burke bag. I saw one somewhere, I'm not gonna say. And um, the seller looks, seems a little sketchy with a lot of bad reviews, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy it or not from that seller. But literally, I'm calling every Dooney and Burke for that bag. And when I went into the Dooney and Burke store, they knew what I was talking about, and they had one a couple of weeks ago, and it sold. So, if you really want a bag, <laughs> If you really want a bag, don't do what that girl did. Just buy it, okay? So I literally told the girl, I want to buy this bag right now and this one. And the reason why is because she only had this one in the back and she had two of these. So I bought them, I got there, and they were mine. And the other girl that was complaining that the pink bag was missing and she was looking at me like she was going to murder me. She should have just bought them because, but you know what? They weren't for her. So anyways, let me see if I can find the Nolita bag that I have. Okay, y'all. I really, really, really had to dig deep down in my closet to find this bag. Um, I thought she was actually smaller than the ones that I just purchased, but I don't think so. I think I think they were about the same size. Let's check this out. Hmm. Actually, yeah, they are the same size. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. Let me put the the straps to the back. Yeah, they are the same size. That is really funny. Yep. So, yeah, this, both leathers are soft, except this one is puffy because it's the quilted puff Nolita 19 in dark and black. And the hardware is um, graphite. No. Hmm. I forgot what it's called. Um, the chain is not black. It's like the, uh, oh God, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, I know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so anyways, this is an old, oh, look. Got my uh, 1990s flip phone. Love, love, love the flip phone. I'm telling you, phone companies need to come back with the simpler stuff that we used to live with you know what this one actually has a long pocket inside a slip long pocket the size of the bag and then on the other side it has the same cards but i don't know that this no this one doesn't have the long pocket oh well but anyways this is my first and only coach nolita 19. um i honestly didn't even know what i bought when i bought it this was many years ago um i'm gonna say pre-covid i purchased this it was a sale it was the outlet i think it was the outlet i think i actually went into the outlet store and i bought this one um 
and I think this bag started it all for me with the um, maybe it's yeah I think I went into the boutique first and I saw and this was pre-COVID I don't know if quilted puff bags were out before that because I never bought one but I think it was coach that I first saw a quilted puffy bag and um, I didn't buy it and then I went to the outlet and I saw this one and I just bought it now did I wear this one mm, probably twice in my whole entire life to go to a club or something or you know like a lounge um the only reason um First of all, I don't like carrying or carrying little handheld bags to dance clubs. <laughs> I don't uh, because I like to dance. And so um, if I do get like a bag, it would have to be like a crossbody bag, um, a small crossbody bag or a belt bag if I'm going to be dancing. Um, Maybe once in a while, if I go to a lounge, I'll wear a shoulder bag um, or a clutch. But this bag would be, I don't even know why I bought this one, to be honest with you. I think I wore it to uh, a lounge twice, you know, where I had to carry like this, where I wasn't dancing. A lounge for me is somewhere where you go and you sit and you have a few drinks and you know you have dinner or not even dinner you just have little bites and you're talking to people and there's really loud music and you're just like oh you know whatever and you you have this little bag with you and you're like you know putting your lipstick on and then you leave you know but for like a dance club i need a crossbody or a belt bag mm -hmm. um so i'm not sure why i bought this because i don't like to carry i mean it's a chain it's a chain and I'm not, I can't carry this one to go out and run errands or whatever. It just, it doesn't fit the look of going out shopping for food. <laughs> but whatever, this is my own Nolita 19 and I've only worn her twice. And I think I tried to sell her and somebody really wanted her. And it wasn't working out. Their schedule with my schedule, trying to meet up. And I think it was a guy. And he was saying he wanted this bag for his girlfriend. Uh, she liked the quilted puffy look. And, you know, he wanted this for her. And I, I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. But it, I never met the, the person because our schedules didn't even fit. I thought to use this as a makeup bag. But I really thought it was just too big for a makeup bag. Go figure, it's too small for me to wear as a bag bag, but it was too big to wear as a cosmetic bag or to put in my bag as a cosmetic bag. But nevertheless, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I just don't wear it. Uh, so it's like, it was in another bag in my closet. So anyways, but y'all, this is, my outlet shopping for today and it's super hot i think it's about it's 89 degrees right now and it is about four or five o'clock four it's i can't even see right now it's like four something and um i went to the outlet this morning and it was scorching hot uh -huh. I can't imagine what it is right now. But anyways, that was my outlet find. So I hope you get inspired and go to the outlet and go get yours. Bye.